This video is brought to you by Scopic.com. Get yours now. Hey guys, welcome back. This is Phil from Decage.com, and this is a Galaxy Note 7, successor to the Galaxy Note, not 6, but 5. So they came up with four, three different colors. There is silver, gold, and this is called the Blue Corral. And you can see that the back and the front side is in blue, uh, bluish tint with the reflective panel, just like you have seen from the Galaxy S6 or the Galaxy S7, but the side is painted in gold color. This is rather a weird but interesting paint job over here. It seems like it makes a good sense. I thought it was a very stunning color to be seen, especially from Samsung. So what you see over here is the 5.7 inches of a display, 5.7 inches of a QHD display, which is capable with the recognition of a 4096 level of a pen input. So this S Pen input has gotten a few more functions as well. Here is a screen write and smart select and create note that you all know from the previous Galaxy Notes. And you can add up more function over here. There's magnify and glass if you are uh, if your eye size are not exactly great, here is a magnifier. Uh, so you can just point over some items and look at the magnified uh, magnified screen with your tip of the S Pen. And as you would have probably heard right now, this is capable of a waterproof. The S Pen even works underwater so you can write uh, with your pen underwater, which I don't really see any practical situation where you want to do that. But still, this guy is covered and protected by the IP68 water and dust protection, which is the highest level that you can get certified for your phone. This has a USB Type-C port on the bottom, and this is also waterproof, and the earphone jack and the S Pen uh, insert is also waterproof as well. And plus, this guy clicks just like the Galaxy Note 5. Perhaps the most interesting or the biggest feature of the Galaxy Note 7 might be the iris scanner. So here is the iris scanner and what you see on here is not exactly the final unit so it doesn't really work but it shows you the glimpse of how it works. Here is an infrared camera over there that looks uh, and captures your iris so once you register your iris just like it claims that it did, you can use it to unlock your phone uh, to certify it for your Samsung Pay payments or you can use it for the Samsung Pass, which is going to provide uh, password recognition and the ID uh, memories for your website login or your security folders where you can set over here to have personally locked folders that only you can access with the, either your fingerprint or your iris uh, recognition. But out of all these features, what have interested me the most is the power saving mode. Uh, you can set between off, mid, and max, which you can customize uh, in single options. Limiting device performances, preventing background network usage, those are classic. But what you see, the, interestingly, is the changing screen resolution. The Galaxy Note 7 has a QHD resolution uh, AMOLED panel, which is known to have no practical advantage unless you're watching a VR video so close to your eyes. So. Many of us has asked to lower the resolution of the panel to save a battery and Samsung has brought that here. So you can choose between the QHD, the QHD full resolution or a full HD resolution in the medium power saving mode or a HD resolution in maximum power saving mode in which you can all customize with the button there as I said earlier. So you can have probably less crispier images on your screen but you can save your screen because it has less of the pixel to push them through uh, through the CPU and to the display panel. And firstly, the mobile device, the Galaxy Note 7, has a HDR capability which stands for high dynamic range. Compared to the SDR mode, it shows richer color tones. Um, the colors are deeper in the places where it has to be and brighter in the places that you want them to be. So you see the richer tones compared to the SDR mode uh, in the HDR mode. So that was a quick look at the Galaxy Note 7. We have checked out the silver, gold, and blue coral or coral blue depending on your region. And they look stunningly beautiful. I don't usually say that to Samsung phones, that, but that's true. The user interface looks refined as you have seen from the Galaxy Note 5's beta firmware. And while they do share the main components like the CPU, RAM, and the camera, we're definitely excited to go through the unboxing and review followed by that. Please stay tuned, we'll get back with more very soon and we'll see you guys later. You can meet us on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and Google Plus. And ciao.